Welcome to the final round of the InnoVenture Prize competition, where students develop and present innovation. Our final contestants are the Transformers Robotics team from JFCA, who research hurricanes in the USA. Their projects tackle the problem of unloading disaster relief supplies where the traditional equipment like forklifts, pallet jacks, or conveyors won't work. Often distribution centers are churches or schools with steps, narrow doors, or mazes of hallways. Trucks have to unload in a muddy, uneven field or even isolated areas far away from a flat concrete surface. So we need something that is totally flexible that can transfer random terrain and unfavorable conditions, can go up and down stairs, fit through narrow doors and hallways. What is the perfect machine? A human. But people can only lift and carry 50 pounds long term, fatigue easily, and they are rarely enough volunteers. Our innovative solution uses technology originally developed for the military in a new way for disaster relief purposes. We propose using a modified exoskeleton in a new and innovative way to unload supplies where forklifts cannot. Somewhere in it can lift up to 200 pounds, or a team of two can lift up to 400 pounds, and so on. The battery life is 2.7 hours. Speeds up to 7 miles per hour can be reached. We've modified to hold a container for relief supplies. The unit cost is $14,000, or a weekly rental rate of $1,500. To compare, a forklift costs around $30,000, and they're in short supply during a disaster. The batteries can be swapped out for nearly continuous operation, recharged with solar. Forklifts need propane or electricity, which is in short supply during a following disaster. Imagine the scenario. Greenville Middle School is choos chosen by Red Cross as a shelter. There's one volunteer and a driver to unload an entire truck. They have to break down each pallet of goods and transport items one by one inside. There are a bunch of hungry, hurting people waiting inside. Please come lift this box of canned goods. Ugh. Wow, this is heavy. Let me unload that. Judges, do you have any questions? How will this help society? How many lives will it impact? Our research shows that the USA takes two hurricane strikes per year. The Red Cross Salvation Army and other institutions set up hundreds of disaster centers annually delivering millions of pounds of supplies. We can unload a truck eight times faster with just one unit. We can unload any of the following per trip. 114 MREs, 16 cases of canned food, 3 cases of shovels, 8 cases of water, or 11 cots. We calculated 178 trips per charge. It reduces the oxygen needed by the user by 10%. Our exoskeleton is very economical compared to forklifts, pallet jacks, and ATVs. How would you implement it? Each supply truck going to a location where traditional unloading will not work would have at least one unit. Large trucks may have more. For a Sandy or a Katrina situation, over 200 trucks were used. Let's say 20 use our solution. That is only $280,000 of the Red Cross's $3.4 billion annual budget. This was some extensive research. What were your sources? We use seven types of sources and have a bibliography of books and in industry journals, flyers, magazines, videos, podcasts, websites. Who are your experts? Our three experts included Linda Franz Kowiak, former Red Cross Logistics, Dr. Melody Jackson, Georgia Tech professor researching exoskeletons, and Bill Golf, Allstate Insurance Manager. With whom did you share your innovation? We have shared our presentation with five groups, our experts, CMI engineers, sales and marketing, a sixth grade class, our parents, and have posted it on our website that you are currently watching now and has 999 views. Well, how does it work? Sensors monitor the user's movement and augment these movements while transferring the load to the ground. Could you also move debris? Yes, and help with reconstruction, too. Thank you, Transformers. That concludes the presentation portion of InnoVenture 2013.